Folks, how's everybody doing today? Rudy Elf Investments for a nice short video on a nice beautiful evening in this beautiful world. And we want to talk about Modern Horizons 2. I'm going to regurgitate some uh, perspective on what I think is about to happen here in the next couple weeks. And what I think really the biggest risk is, is that that's really, it's, it's kind of the tone we're going to set moving forward here. You know, I, I think many of us don't realize that when we get these double masters, VIP masters, you know, and now Modern Horizons 2, and, and Wizards pushes the boundaries with the prices, Ultimate ultimate Edition Secret Layers, you know, the Double Masters VIP. When, when, when they push these products with record high prices in new concepts, we're all guinea pigs. We're all test subjects because we don't know, they don't know how the market's going to accept or reject a product when it's released, whenever it's something new. Look at Time Spiral Remastered. That was something that they just said, okay, we'll put a, put a wave out there. We'll sit back and see what happens. Oh, price is skyrocketing. Okay, let's take all the remainder hidden pals. Let's slowly funnel them through Amazon, maximize margins, the product, so we can absorb that secondary market profit, cut out the distribution network, and do our thing. We're all kind of guinea pigs in their little game here. It's a big chessboard. They move a piece, the public moves pieces, and they kind of see what works best and what doesn't. Unfortunately, one of the downsides in that is we see situations where Wizards will continue to go in a direction until they overdo it or until it just dissolves to nothing. Then they go, well, that's dead, so let's go over here and do this. Let's, from the vault. No, no, wait, nobody bought the last few from the vaults. They tanked. Yeah, because you made, like, from the vault annihilation after making those amazing from the vaults before it. And then, no, 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 let's do dual decks. Now, no one's buying dual decks. We put all the cheap cards, remove value, and dual decks are just useless now. You know, it's just, it's just, core sets are the worst selling product. Let's make magic origins. Let's cut off the core sets. They just don't sell. The margins aren't there. We can't move the quantity like a standard product. You know, they, they make these decisions. And it's kind of a little weird. Because there's not many industries in the world, ladies and gentlemen, that... We are all experimenting on like this. So, on to Modern Horizons 2 conversation. We're a couple weeks out till release. And I really hope that post-release, a lot of additional waves of product, and this really is a printed demand, and then the prices do come down, and I can order additional product, and every store can just keep getting more, even if the prices level out 10 20% down. Because I would like to offer it permanently and sell it just like everybody else wants to do. And my concern is that I don't think that's going to happen. I think, you know, ever since we we walked through the valley of the shadow of 2020, you know, and we fear Commander Legends and, of course, Jumpstart, print to demand and print to oblivion doesn't mean anything anymore. Because even if Wizards wants to overprint something or print something to oblivion, it doesn't matter. Because there's no way for them to dictate the supply. There's no way for them to truly, you know, kind of put those lanes and get all of this in a certain way. There's no way to make it work. Because they have the constraints of printing facilities, backlogs, you know, reduced labor force, not enough time on the printer, all this stuff. And, you know, look, I just, I guess I'm just frustrated because here we are. In, in Commander Legends and Jumpstart, we're in June of 2021, and we still aren't able to have a good supply chain of those product lines. And, you know, I can take a hint. It's never going to change. There's never going to be a time that any store is going to be able to keep Jumpstart and Commander Legends permanently in stock. It's just not going to happen. We are probably less than 12 months now, when the second wave of the second year of these product lines of 2020... This is, the, this is the tail end. These products are going to be gone in less than 12 months. So There's just going to be no more waves. And it's like... And now we're on the backs of this Modern Horizons 2. And this sucker is expensive. It is expensive. I mean, I'm seeing people talking about... If they buy a, a little mini case of six collector boxes. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Six times 400? Holy smokes. You're looking at like 2400 plus tax for many people. $2,600 to $2,700, depending where you live, for a little six-pack box of Modern Horizons 2 collector boxes. That's nuts. 
And we all know there's not going to be any more after release. And that is why there's massive FOMO for the product. You know, now when it comes to the set and draft boxes, there's supposed to be more. Everybody knows that. Wizards has stated that. And there's supposed to be more. But the problem is there's no credibility anymore. Because now, just because they say it's going to be available, it, it doesn't matter. It's useless. And I don't know what that's going to mean. Because like I've told you on many times, I'd rather have access to 2,000 boxes at $100 a piece and then sell them for $120 versus having access to 500 boxes and selling them for $300 a piece with the same 20% margin. You see my point? The, the, the end of the line, at the end of the day, for any business or anyone involved in this industry, the bottom line is almost no different. But at least everybody's able to get the product and able to get it at a better price. The only difference that makes is that the company who publishes and produces the cards, good old Wizards of the Ivory Coast, they have huge margin differences. When they sell a box of Modern Horizon or Conspiracy 1, 2, or Battle Bond, and Wizards, they sell them to stores for, I don't, I don't even remember, they sell them to stores for 80 bucks and a store sells it for 100 you know, Wizards probably paid, probably got paid 60, 70 from distributor. You know, well now, they sell the same shape Modern Horizon set box, and you know, they probably get 150 to 200, whatever the numbers are. You know, I, I don't, I don't know, you know, do you see what I'm saying? So for them, that's the biggest difference. They get substantially larger margins at the impact of the market. And you know, I, my instinct says the fact that the last few specialty products have not been readily available. I have no reason to believe that this is going to be any different. And, you know, many people are saying, you know, I've had many messages. I've been reading emails and going through everything, catching up. And I'm going, I'm getting, the most common message I'm getting right now is, Rudy, I'm going to wait till after release. I'm telling you, Rudy. Modern Horizon set boxes, Modern Horizon draft boxes, they're going to be like everything else. They're going to come out. They're going to tank in price down to 200 I was like, whoa, that's a, that's a big drop. And I said, you know, and they said, what do you think? You think that's going to happen? And I said, I'll be honest with you. I actually hope it does happen because that would be awesome. But that would, in order for that to happen, that means there's no supply problems and it's readily available in any store in the country you can call up a distributor and say, hey, can I have a case of six or can I have 10 cases of 60? And then two, three days later, boom, it's at the LGS. That would be a nice thing. I hope that happens. I, when, I, when people ask me my opinion, I don't think that's going to happen. We are on a path. We're literally, you know, s draft boxes of Strixhaven. Draft boxes of Modern Horizons 2. Allocations are so pathetically low. And now you're telling me all of a sudden that it's just going to magically be created. And all the prices are going to drop. Well, I'd like that to happen. Because that means the reason that's happening is positive. I, I just, you know, I'm looking at this set... I am looking at the spoilers. I'm looking at the rares, the mythics, the variants, the throwbacks, the etched, the old card frame. You know, I mean, the amount of opportunity for someone to even just buy a case of six of these things. Crack all the, the boxes. Enjoy it. Film it. Do whatever you want. And then flip the singles on the secondary market. And I'm seeing estimations now that the expected value of even a Modern Horizons 2 set box. I'm hearing expected value is like three to $500 a box. I don't know if that has any validity because, again, the product's not even out yet. The numbers really don't matter. But I'm just, you know, you're starting to hear that preliminary range. And I'm going, you know, you got set boxes at, what, 260, 280, 270, 290 with tax? And you're talking EV is on the low side of 300? And if you get a golden box, it's 500 plus? You know, these are all indicators that are going to push and pull the direction of the product. And, you know, the product looks good. You guys know I love Modern Horizons 1. One of my all-time faves next to Ultimate Masters. You guys know that. But, you know, this is a very weird time we're in post-2020. And I just, I just don't think we're in for some smooth rides. I think we're in for some nasty, expensive prices. And I think this lays the groundwork for more expensive and more price increases moving forward. And I don't know if this is really good because it means the product's selling. Or we're all just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot and we're causing our own inflation by continuously buying the products from Wizards. Even when the price keeps going up, everyone just throws money at their screen and it doesn't matter. Maybe it's all of our own fault. Maybe it's my fault and everybody because we keep doing it, you know?